My name is Delwyn McKenzie. I have six children. I live in Galatea in New Zealand. I have lived there all my life and I'm a dairy farmer. I am a girl. I like pink and I like makeup and I like high heels. When I milk cows and go to the cow shed, I have my makeup on. Who said cows don't like bright colours? Who decided that farmers should dress a particular way? I guess I've always questioned everything. Always. Day. Yeah, good. And then tomorrow they're going to go. I know. Family's everything to me, and this is probably why I'm here with Liberty League today. Have you heard back on your netball trial? I just decided that I had to um, create possibilities for my kids so they didn't follow the same path I did. I got married when I was 20 and had four kids. My first husband used to drink a lot. He'd say, I'm just popping down to a friend's house. He'd come back the next day. <laughs> While I was like nine months pregnant or whatever. Oh, excuse me, honey, I'm in labor. Oh, could it wait till tomorrow? I'll be back then. I was shocked at Fred's actions. When I married him, he was the most popular guy. He actually had a very dark side to him. He was out drugs, drinking, apparently, you know, doing whatever. I had no idea he was being unfaithful and he was sleeping with my friends, <laughs> which I didn't know until, you know, 10 years later. I was humiliated. I felt uh, worthless. I felt like it was all my fault. I felt stupid. I guess one day I thought, um, damn it, <laughs> this is not good. I can't live like this. We decided to separate. He was not happy about that. He said, kids, you do not have a father anymore. Your mother has kicked me out. They were screaming, running down the driveway. Mum, mum, make him stay. Oh my God, mum, make him stay. Don't be awful, mum. And he was looking at me so well, can I stay? And I'm like, no. So for the next four years, I had these four kids that hated me, hated me, and they, never cuddled me, they never kissed me, they uh, hated me because they witnessed what went on out there. And you don't get that back. You don't get that back. We'd been farming six months when um, my ex-husband left. We'd borrowed quarter of a million dollars from the bank and we had huge debt. I'd get up at 4.30 in the morning, seven days a week, and I'd go and milk those cows. I was a very sad girl. I was so depressed. I, I actually had to get up and milk cows depressed. You know how hard that is. <laughs> the kids were going to school, so they had to actually get themselves ready. They got their own lunches and the whole lot. We were all just managing, doing the best we could in, in the worst situation. I remember very clearly driving back from town, which is an hour away, with the kids in the, in the car thinking, you know, I, I wonder why I'm not rich. Crazy! And I just thought I'd never tried. And then that was it, I was on this mission and I decided that um, I had nothing to lose because even though you, uh, you know, you've got the farm and everything's ticking over, what have you got really? So um, I decided that I was going to get rich. <laughs> Didn't know how, but I'd start somewhere until I found out. Janine! Oh, okay, cool. So are you looking for a business or uh, just wanting some extra income? I just have this feeling of gratitude for Liberty League, the leaders, everything that everyone's done for me so that I too can be free in life. So what do you actually do for a living right now, Janine? I've made $70,000 profit um, in two months and that would have taken an entire year on the farm. She never used to have that much energy bouncing around, singing, she actually starts singing and jumping around and swirling and dancing and saying yippee and all this stuff. It's kind of embarrassing but it's, it's cool. I'm having so much fun. Um, oh, I'm just so full of joy and happiness. Cliff's made a difference. He's strong, he's loyal, and he's my best friend. We were in town one day, we went and got married. Maybe I'm amazed at the way you love me all the time. I love her wits. Um, it's 
funny. She makes me laugh. And she's gorgeous. Just everything about her, I, I just love it. I'm so proud of her. She's come a long way, like, from what happened. And I think as a family we're beginning to grow as well, just from what she's doing at the moment. Getting happier, more confident, excited about living. I am on a farm and, and, and probably in one of the most isolated spots in New Zealand. You don't get um, broadband, you don't get all the you know, telephone bits and pieces, but you actually don't need that with Liberty League. It's not about where you are physically, it's about where you are in here. Maybe I'm a girl, maybe well, you're obviously a big thinker then, Janine, because um, if you're wanting an um, unlimited income. Let me do this, let me get you some information. I've got money coming out my ears. Like, what a relief, my goodness. How many people doubted me? How many times did I doubt myself and just decide I've got to continue on? Don't take no for an answer and just go after it. And um, never quit and you'll get there. You actually will get there. Maybe I'm amazed at the way you help me sing my song. Help me when I'm wrong. The reason I am here with Liberty League, the reason I will be successful is for my family. You know, I felt my family was taken away from me. And freedom, there was no freedom. We were robbed of everything and I'm going to give it back. That's my why. That's my why.